If I could spin us back ten years, would you still fall for him, even knowing the heartache that he brings, even as he erases our memories? Happy Valentine's Day. The gift's over there. Again, with the same gift. I can tell it's that perfume, that unmistakable scent of indifference. Wake up, June. You're just his distraction. Safe travels. Adrian. We can't do this anymore. It ends here. All right. I knew we wouldn't look back. Not even once. June. You won't believe who's here. Uh, our next patient? Polaris Airlines' youngest captain. He is here, and he is hot. Who? Are you serious? Hello. Dr. Carter? Honestly, it's just a scratch. He made it seem like such a big deal. I hope it's not too much trouble, Doc. The cut, uh, it's a minor my... injury, but don't worry, it won't affect your flying. I'll get this cleaned up and I'll give you some ointment. All right, you're all set. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks, Doc. Ready for dinner? Bye. Drama over a paper cut. Can you believe it? Barely a scratch. We're aviation examiners. We're supposed to care. Yeah, but seriously? If they would have come 10 minutes later, it would have healed itself, and you know it. <laughs> anyway, Adrian Rivers seems like boyfriend material, huh? I heard they broke up three years ago and Mia left for London. Everyone said they were still in love, and now she's back. Yeah? Yeah. But you know what? Mm. I think Adrian's been seeing someone. Saw a little hickey on his neck once. But he keeps her hidden. It kind of makes you wonder. Eh, it's probably just some sideline fun. June. Oh, I have another checkup to do. Oh, the ointment. Make sure she does this at least twice. How you been? I'm good. June, I, uh... Adrian. June? Home early today. <sighs> oh no. June, what is going on? What the hell happened? Um...
What the hell is this? You were supposed to land a wealthy man, secure a future for me and your brother, and look what you've done now. And, and where's this guy? Honestly, even as your stepmother, I raised you better than this. <sighs> My marriage is just a transaction to you, a trade for a better life. I'll handle my pregnancy. You focus on your son, who's 35, jobless, and shamelessly relying on his stepsister to provide for him. How dare you? I gave you a family when your useless father got hit by a truck. Where do you think you're going? You have nowhere and no one! Where do you want to go? You called late, usual spots full, but we are considering how many rooms they have. And there's a Four Seasons nearby, just opened up. When he looks at me, all he sees is an accessory. Perhaps in his eyes, I'm a living sex doll. You never in the perfume. That's not what I'm here for. I have news. Well, I can't really say it's good news, but... I'm pregnant. We can get it confirmed if you want, but it's yours. I haven't slept with anyone else. I've never doubted you otherwise. And I'm keeping this child. This baby deserves a family. And I know the pain of going without one. But I'm not forcing you into anything, so just take your time. Let me know. Finally, training camp is over. They even took our phones away without any heads up. Shit's ridiculous. You know the hours for the uh, medical building? Medical building? You okay? Uh, yeah, I just need to check on something. Someone. Oh, you got a nurse lover there. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Dr. Carter. Here. Well, she says her. It's lovely. June, I am, I am flattered by your presence. <laughs> I mean, I've asked you out on dates so many times and you always turn me down. <laughs> What's changed? Uh, um, I understand you're looking to get married and I was wondering what you thought about me as a potential wife. Will, will you, you're beautiful. <laughs> Hey, you make a wonderful wife. I mean, heck, if you want, we, we can get married tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay, great. There's just one little thing that we'd have to talk about before we continue. Yeah. Um, I'm pregnant. What? You, you expect me to raise another man's child? Uh, okay. Okay. Is this a scam? Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but... I'll compensate you. I, I have a decent car and savings that I can offer you in exchange. Are you crazy? And what kind of car are we talking about and how much in savings exactly? It's none of your fucking business. What? We need to talk. Adrian. What are you thinking? Offering yourself pregnant with my child to another man? You give him money as compensation? I need to find a solution because you're not doing it. I told you I was a woman. Doesn't my matter. I already know how you feel. Marry me. What? You know, father for the child, don't you? Yeah, but Just you're not Just on two interested. conditions. First, our relationship must remain a secret. No public acknowledgement, no ceremony. Second, don't ask me questions about my life. It's a contract marriage. So just leave some things be. By some things, you mean Mia? You're already asking questions. Adrian, where are you? Everyone's waiting. I'm on my way. That's right. A contract marriage. Nothing more. What did I expect? Juke, over here. I thought you said this was an emergency. 
And it is, you have some fun. I'm gonna set you up with a hot highlight. Come on. Actually, I think I'm gonna get going. Oh, wait, wait, no, June, stay. We owe you for all of your help. Come on. <clears throat> to new friends and old lovers. Being dramatic, Cleo. <sighs> Someone's shy. <laughs> <laughs> to dramatic breakups and new beginnings. Forget Mia, Adrian. The world is full of possibilities. I'm not thinking about her. You are a terrible liar. I just don't get it, man. Mia left for a rich asshole. You gotta just get over it. So drink up. Nah, I can't. I've got a plan for it. Swap it. Drink it up. Come on, man, it's tradition. <laughs> what? I'm thirsty. Yo, hey, where are you going? I'll be right back, man. Mm -hmm. Dr. Carter, isn't it? June. Sure about this? Adrian, it's your turn. Whoever draws the king card, you have to kiss. Reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> See, this game is too easy for couples. <laughs> Come on, uh, kiss, 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 kiss. What's going on? Is they getting in a fight? I just need to get some air. I'll be right back. Can you take it easy for once in your life? Take it easy? You humiliated me in front of everybody. It's just a game. I know there's somebody else, so stop fucking lying. Entertaining, wasn't it? I didn't, I didn't hear anything. You signed the paper, June. Remember my terms in our relationship. Don't ask about Mia. Just leave it be. Of course, I'm fully aware of the terms I agreed to. Good. Don't let tonight happen again. You won't see me next time. <sighs> Are you all right? You vanished from the party last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I just had some family stuff, so I went home. Then you missed all the drama. Mia came back alone, furious, and Adrian, nowhere to be seen. Wait, Adrian didn't go back with Mia? No, they were engaged, but Adrian seems distracted. <laughs> and get this, Mia got so Can drunk- Can you Dr. Carter for a moment? <clears throat> You guys are both clear to fly. Dr. Carter, what are your plans for lunch? Oh, Susan and I are going oh, to- Oh, I have to change the first aid kits on board. Plan change. So, Dr. Carter, free for lunch? She'd probably prefer lunch with her husband. You're married, aren't you, Dr. Carter? Dr. Carter's married? To whom? Don't know, just something I heard. What's with Mia? You bolted last night and she ended up alone. A mess. She got so drunk, we had to take her to the ER. We broke up three years ago. It's time to move on. Have you? She's still holding on. Unless I pretend you were fine when she walked away. Look, sort it out. 
I care about both of you, okay? If you're worried about me, it's then... none of your business. Given our marital status, Mr. Rivers, I should know what's going on. Our arrangement was clear. I'll be the father to the child and nothing more. I didn't marry you to love you as long as we both shall live. You've made that abundantly clear. How much do you need? What? I can offer compensation for medical bills, childcare, or just spending. How much do you need? You think I'm keeping the baby for the money? Certainly not for love. Perhaps money can simplify matters. This is merely a transaction. No expectations, no burdens. Half a million dollars. For my family and this child. Very well. Let's make it a million. Feeling generous today. I'm home. Where's your paycheck? These bills are killing me. Look at this. $200 just for electricity. Daylight robbery. I am, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? You're a doctor for Christ's sakes. We supported you through medical school, you ungrateful brat. You owe us. I'm pregnant. I need to start providing for my baby. Then where is this husband? What, did he run off with some other woman? Because he also can stand the sight of you? Yes, he's probably fucking another woman right now, okay? So forget about this imaginary son-in-law, because you're not getting a penny. <sighs> what are you doing? Dr. Carter asked me out. You were wrong. She's not married. I think that she'll appreciate the scent. It's from Paris. Ah, uh, she's a type. What? What type? Ooh, Leo. You two have fun on your date. Enjoy. Why don't we all dine together? The cocktails here are unmatched. What are you doing? I'm starving. Let's see where this goes. You don't mind, would you? Dr. Carter? So, Joan, you asked to see me? Yeah, actually, um, it was about the aviation exam. My cousin's interested in flying. Yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Ready to order some cocktails? How many of you will be drinking? All of us. We're gonna start with You'll the... be drinking. She can't have alcohol. Uh. Why did you say that? Why'd you ask Leo for the exam and not me? What, are you jealous? No. I just found it pathetic. The mother of my child asked another man for help. You're drunk. Do you have feelings for him? What? I saw the way you looked at him. What way? You were the one causing trouble tonight. Good night, Mr. Rivers. June, you all right? I, um, I missed the bus, and I'm just really tired. I couldn't stop thinking about earlier today. It felt off. Seriously, what's going on? You know I'm here for you. I'm pregnant, Susan, and Adrian is the father. <laughs> okay, the new girl, June Carter, what is her deal? I heard her mom died at birth. And her dad just died in a car accident. Man, full orphan package, huh? And another thing is, her mother, her stepmom, sent her out here because she couldn't stand being with her. It's like a Greek tragedy, but in Ohio. <laughs> Who's listening to? 
What are you listening to? Uh, nothing. It's kind of blue for camp vibes. That's cool. I like it. I'm Adrian. Um, June. June. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I was thinking since camp ends tomorrow and we're going to different cities, it would be cool to give each other something to remember by. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I've had this necklace for years. Uh, I want you to have it. To remember me. I'll always remember you. <laughs> There's nothing, you know. Casual, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. But, uh, kind of something of yours in return? Uh, yeah. I've, uh, had this bracelet forever. <laughs> Let's, uh, see if it fits. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, it looks like it fits. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I can't stand it. No. Adrian! I can't believe we go to the same school. Hello there. I'm sorry, who are you? I, it's June from summer camp. Uh, uh, I was in an accident. I lost my recent memories. I don't remember you, I'm afraid. An accident? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, my cousin's at camp was ass boring, so I forgot about it all. <laughs> <laughs> what was your name again? Well, it looks like it fits. I'm sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone else. Adrian! There's a party tonight. You should totally come. Well, your necklace. Who gave it to you? You did. On our first date during summer? Oh, you probably don't remember. That's okay. We'll have plenty of time to make new memories. Where'd you get that necklace? It's none of your business. That's Adrian's necklace. Yeah, and he gave it to me. It's mine. I saw you eyeing Adrian like a lost puppy. Did you really think that messing with my medical records would keep me grounded? I would never do Save that. Save it, June Carter. I'm warning you. Stay away from Adrian. Woo! So dramatic. Do you know what happened? Did you do something? What? No! Well, I mean, she did come to the ER because she was drinking too much, so clearly Mia has an alcohol problem and is unfit to fly. All I did was document it, okay? It's a good thing she got grounded. It's not safe. I understand, I really do, but it's just not right. The only reason why she applied to fly today is to get on Adrian's flight. <gasps> Can't you see what's happening here? She's stealing him from you. Jim. Adrian, why are you here? How about dinner tonight? How about dinner tonight? Just the two of us. Dinner? Why? Thought that's what you wanted. Us alone. Yeah, but we've never done that. Why now? <clears throat> About Mia's medical records. Can you ensure they're accurate? So that's why you're here, huh? Um, Mia informed me about a medical bias on her test results, so I will schedule a checkup to ensure accuracy. Good. Good. 
So about dinner, I know this place. And, and if this dinner is just about Mia, it is completely unnecessary. Okay. Why don't you call her, invite her to dinner to tell her about her checkup? Because she seems to be the one you're truly concerned about. I'll see you when I get back. Isn't this enough, June? Being the third wheel in this relationship. The outsider to the very end. You don't have to do this. Mia's already passed her exam and she'll be flying. She'll probably think of a name. Yeah. Let's get dinner, shall we? I'm starving. I bet her baby's hungry too. Let's go. You should get that good. It'd be important. Adrian, where are you? Mia's back in the ER. She's hurting herself again. Asking for you. Go. She needs you. It's okay. I won't be long. I know. It's okay. I'll be back as fast as I can. Just wait here. Is there really a baby in there? Adrian told me he didn't like children. Is it really Adrian's? It's his. There hasn't been anyone else. Don't be so offended. Was this your grand plan? Knock yourself up and steal him from me? <laughs> I think you're looking too far into this. The pregnancy was unplanned. And if this is the way the conversation's gonna go, then I would rather leave. Please. Wait. Stay and talk to me. If I beg you, will you let Adrian go? I can't live without him. If I could compensate you, and I mean a lot of money, would you consider an abortion? This isn't even about me. Adrian has a say in this, too. And if he says that we shouldn't have this baby, then I'll listen. But until then, this baby is my top priority. And there's nothing you can say that can change my mind. Ma'am, can you hear me? We're going to do all we can to save both you and your child. It's my baby. Save my baby. We need to operate immediately. We Where's her family? We've been trying to get a hold of them, but no one well, hurt him. Can we reach him? No one but we need his consent. Miss Carter, where's your husband? Can you reach him? Okay. Miss Carter. There is no time. We have to save the patient. Okay, administering anesthesia. Miss Carter. Dude, thank God you're awake. What happened? Susan, tell me everything's okay. June, you need to calm down. You're safe now and that's all that matters. No, 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 no. That can't be true. My baby, please tell me my baby's okay. I'm so sorry, June. The doctors, they said the heartbeat had already stopped by the time you got here. <laughs> Everything is going to be okay, I promise. Adrian, I need to tell Adrian he can do something. It's his baby, too. Where's, where's he? Where's my phone? <laughs> Mm. 
I was with Mia, and then the last thing I remember is walking out of the cafe, and then I felt a push, but everything's really fuzzy after that. You know what's weird? Mia has been MIA for days. Not at work, not at home, nothing. No one knows where she is. Something's off. Stay here. I'm going to grab your test results. I'll be back. I'll check with the doctors. Thank you, Adrian. Don't go anywhere, okay? No. No. <laughs> June, what happened? Tell me, are you okay? I can't, Susan, I can't. You can't what? Tell me. Just take me home, please. Susan, just take me home. <sighs> 